following the team's poor performance at the CAF Champions League group stages, Vipers hierarchy yesterday decided to sack Brazilian tactician Roberto Luiz Beto Bianchi, who leaves the club just after 58 days of his appointment to replace Roberto Oliveira. His seven-match run had no normal time win over Ginger North and Bujumbura, who they later beat on penalties in the Uganda Cup, on top of playing out a goalless draw with Wakiso Jones in the Uganda Premier League. However, some of the football analysts in the country believe that the sacking of the Brazilian tactician has come way too early. It was always going to take time. And remember, we're also talking about a coach who did not, or who could not speak English. And so he was working through an interpreter. Speaking English with Ugandan players or communicating in English is already hard enough. So when you're going to use an interpreter, it's going to make it probably worse. To control the dressing room, he failed to show that he has big ambitions. And the worst bit of it is that uh, they reported quarrel with his bosses that also made life difficult for him. They believe it's time for club president Lawrence Mulindra to consider appointing a local coach, even though he has always had reservations about the same. At the moment, uh, I would... Personally, I would think it is time Moses Go Edward Gola comes back and Richard Waswa because they are, it, uh, it, it were in the second round. Already the CAF Champions League has already progressed way past the halfway stage. But because the season is already midway, he will look at a coach at an interim basis. And I think Richard Waswa has been Bianchi's deputy and say uh, Ibrahim Mugisha can take over up to the end of the season. They can wrestle for the league and the Uganda Cup, but I think uh, they should also look at bring back a coach who knows Vipers inside out in Edward Gola. Others have also urged the club to go back to the old days of recruiting players from what used to be their main supplier, St. Mary's SS Chitende. Vipers have done that, and I thought they were successful uh, to some extent because they worked with the um, coach I say Edward Gola was in charge of that 2015 team. He also knew the players, some that were rising through the ranks from uh, St. Mary's um, Chitende. And so I thought in that regard, maybe if Vipers can go back to that kind of approach, I think it would serve them better. Beto is the sixth coach to leave Chitende and leaves Vipers bottom of Group C with just a point in the CAF Champions League.